so PC2, PC1 and our recording PC can communicate, InterVLAN routing is working. Now let's configure PC3 in VLAN 20. This is slightly more complicated. Port 24 needs to be configured as untagged for VLAN 20. Port 1 needs to be tagged for VLAN 20, untagged for VLAN 1. Port 2 on edge 2 needs to be configured as tagged for VLAN 20, untagged for VLAN 1. VLAN 1 is required across this link to enable management of Edge 3, which has its management VLAN in VLAN 1, but needs to be tagged for VLAN 20 to allow communication to PC3. Edge 2, which is our 3500 switch, needs to have its ports configured as untagged for VLAN 1. So both port 2 and port 1 are going to be configured as untagged for VLAN 1 and tagged for VLAN 20. The 5406 needs to have port A3 tagged for VLAN 20. So in other words, VLAN 20 is going to be tagged across this link and across this link and then untagged on this link. So firstly, let's change the IP address of PC3 to the correct IP address and then we'll configure Edge 3, Edge 2 and lastly the router. So this is PC3. At the moment, its IP address is 10.0.0.2.5.1. And there it is again. Let's go to Control Panel. Go to Network Connections. Local Area Connection. Go to IP Settings. Let's change this to be 10.0.20. Default Gateway is going to be... 100, click OK, click OK. VNC connection will drop once again. On our local PC, we won't be able to ping that address because there's no route to the destination. Notice we're getting a response from 10.0.0.100, which is the 5406 router, saying that the destination is unreachable. So let's telnet to edge 3 and configure edge 3. So telnet 10.0.0.103. You can see that this is a 26.10. Show run shows you that all we've configured on edge 3 is VLAN 1. All ports are untagged for VLAN 1. So all ports belong to VLAN 1. There's the IP address of our switch. So type conf t VLAN 20 to create VLAN 20. And then we're going to say untagged port 24 to put this port into VLAN 20. We need to tag port 1 to allow the sending and receiving of VLAN 20 across this port. So show run. You can see VLAN 20 is untagged on port 24 and tagged on port 1. So that's a configuration of edge 3 completed. Let's configure edge 2. So Telnet to 10.0.0.102. You can see that it's a 3500 switch. Edge 2. Show run. Once again, IP address 10.0.0.102. This device, name is Edge 2. All interfaces, 1 to 24, are untagged in VLAN 1. So, ConfT. VLAN 20. We're going to say tagged. And notice we can list a range of ports here. So 1 to 2 are going to be tagged for VLAN 20. So show run. You can see that ports 1 to 2 are tagged for VLAN 20. So we've successfully configured edge 2 and edge 3. Let's configure the router. So on the router, show run. At the moment, we only have VLAN 1, VLAN 2, and VLAN 10. So let's create VLAN 20. We are going to tag VLAN 20 on port A3. 
and we're going to give it an IP address of 10.0.20.100.100 and with a mask of slash 24 so now this device has an additional IP address of 10.0.20.100 so type show run you can see VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 port A3 is tagged for VLAN 20 and we've configured the correct IP address let's see if we can ping PC3 from our local machine and as you can see the ping succeeds open up a VNC connection so 10.0.20.251 so there's the old IP address IP config shows me the new IP address which is 10.0.20.251 and once again this PC can ping our local machine if we do a trace you can see the first top is 10 0 20 100 which is our 5406 router and the trace succeeds the next device is 10 0 0 249 which is our local recording PC so we have successfully configured this entire infrastructure to allow the PCs to talk to one another Later on I'm going to show you how to set up routing and then we'll configure routing between our Cisco router and our HP router. I'll also show you later how to get the devices onto the internet. At the moment our local infrastructure is working properly. Any PC can ping any other PC. Let's prove that. So as an example IP config 10.0.2.2.5.2 which is this PC here this PC can ping 10.0.0.249 can also ping 10.0.10.250 and it can also ping 10.0.20.251 so this PC is able to ping all the other PCs can it ping and connect to the network infrastructure so 10.0.0.100 that's the router notice it cannot get to 10.0.0.101 so it cannot at the moment connect to this switch and this is something that often bites people just because your PC can send traffic to the router and the router can send it to this switch doesn't mean it's going to work because this switch needs to know how to send traffic back again so on that switch did we configure a default gateway and the answer is no so we need to type the command IP default gateway and specify the default gateway of edge 1 which in this case is our HP router so now let's see if the ping works and there you go the ping succeeds because Edge 1 has a default gateway allowing it to send traffic back to the PC. So, as an example, Telnet 10.0.0.101, you can see that we were able to Telnet successfully to Edge 1. By the same token, can we ping 102? And the answer is no, and the same with 103 because these two devices have to have their default gateways configured so on edge 2 IP default gateway 10.0.0.100 and the same on edge 3 so IP default gateway 10.0.0.100 so back on our PC PC 1 notice we can ping 102 and 103 so once again Telnet 10.0.0.102 we are able to Telnet to Edge 2 
And what about edge 3? And the answer is yes. So we have full connectivity between our devices. The only device that still needs to be configured correctly is the Cisco router, but I'm going to show you how to do that later. Now that we've successfully configured our infrastructure where there's full communication between the HP switches and our PCs, let's save our configurations and back up the configurations to our TFTP server. So firstly on our router, write mem, edge 1, write mem, edge 2, write mem, and edge 3, write mem. So we've saved the configurations of our four switches. Let's back up the configurations to the TFTP server. So once again on my local machine, I've got a TFTP server running. You can see that it's listening on IP address 10.0.0.249, port 69. So on our router, let's type the command copy, startup config, TFTP, IP address is 10.0.0.249, and we're going to call this router.cfg. You can see the configuration was backed up. Let's do the same. Let's do the same for edge one. So copy startup config tftp 10.0.0.249, and we'll call this edge one dot cfg. And there you go. Do the same for edge two. So copy startup config tftp 10.0.0.249, edge two dot cfg. And you can see the config was received. And lastly, H3, so copy startup config TFTP 10.0.0.249, H3 3cfg So our configs have been backed up. Here's my local hard drive, and you can see the configurations. So edge one. There's the backed up configuration. You can see, for instance, VLAN 10 is configured as untagged on port 24. Here's our router config. So there's the full configuration for our inter VLAN routing. Don't forget, you have to enable inter VLAN routing by typing the command IP routing and then configure the VLANs with the relevant IP addresses. Another command that you may be interested in is show tech. Show tech shows us a huge amount of information on the switch. This is very useful for troubleshooting switch performance and typically you'd send this file to HP support. Now, Because of the large amount of output it might be easier to push this to the TFTP server. So to do that you can use this command copy command output show tech tftp specify the IP address of the tftp server and let's call this show tech.cfg so the file will be sent to the tftp server and then on our local hard drive as you can see here the command has successfully been received so if I double click on the file Notice the output of the command show tech. And as you can see here, there's a lot of information. You can see here's an example that the file was received by the TFTP server. And obviously here it is on my local hard drive. So this can be useful when you need to send troubleshooting or debugging information to HP. It's easier to save this as a text file on a TFTP server rather than to try and grab that from a console connection.